What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. Today we're getting harvest done and we have some hay to make. Now this is going to be made kind of on the back burner while we're working on other stuff today, but I wanted to go ahead and get it started. Go ahead and get jumped in there. Now, yesterday we tried and tried and tried to get some stuff together. Um, I ended up trying a few things off screen whenever we were done recording, and I found out that there is a mod that I have installed that is preventing my Crone Big M450 from being hired by a worker. And I want to give a huge, massive, massive apology um to yogi mods i had said to uh that, that the 450 that uh, that they had had a problem and i don't think that it's their mod i think there's something with a mod that i have installed that big daddy has installed um or maybe it's just update 1.5 or 1.5.1 in general that is causing issues now if you guys can do me a huge favor and jump into your farming simulator game. Maybe you're on PC, maybe you're on console. Jump in and just let me know, hey, it's working, everything's working just fine, or hey, yo, I can't hire a worker on the 450 without my game crashing. Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, big problems there. My game completely crashed and I lost a little bit of work, so I had to come back and do it all over again. But the good thing is, this field is done, and another good thing is you can fast farm with this guy as well. I love being able to go fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit two headlands around this entire field, and then while we're working today, I'm going to send this guy on a worker. Now, the worker's not going to go this fast. I could go in and change the uh, settings on here, but it, it, this works. <laughs> this works just fine. And then we're going to use our huge collector, and we're going to come through and collect it all up. There we go. There's that. Turn it off while we make our turn, and jump back in. Again, two headlands, and then we are going to hire a worker and let this guy rock and roll. So, let's get those headlands done. See you in just a moment. We're going to go ahead and jump in a harvester, or combine rather, and we're going to get started. Darn it, did I miss that? Ugh. And we've got our headlands done. I've hired the worker. And this is going to rock and roll. Let's take a look. Actually, I haven't looked at this to see kind of what's going on. All right. Well, I <laughs> can't see nothing. Cool. Oh, yeah, we have turned grass on. Regardless, let's jump around. Let's find ourselves a combine and let's get to work. So number three seems to be first on the list. So let's pull it up because we've got oats. Now, somebody mentioned before, quit doing oats. I'm going to keep doing oats. I love oats. Uh, oats sell for very, very good. I know you get a little bit less than, but nonetheless, I think I like them. Magusta, mucho. Disable straw sloth. Straw sloth is enabled. Let's drop it down. We've got three fields we're going to work on. And today, what I'm going to do is we are going to do each field individually. So I'm going to hit this field. We're going to come through here. We're going to get our headlands done for this one. And then, turn that, turn that off. There we go. I forget this thing doesn't quite have enough power to get everything done, at least the stuff that we're using for. If you guys are using this, you can use the larger draper heads, um, but I highly recommend that you guys just use the headers that come with it because it's going to give you a little bit less of an issue that I'm having. I'm pushing this thing way too far. I will say that right now. Uh, also, people were asking when this is going to be released. I have no idea. Um, I know that it's being worked on. I don't know if it's with Giants yet or not. Uh, we shall see. I do know that the 7R and the um, H480, I know that those are with Giants and have been worked on and all that good stuff. So hopefully we will see those soon. Ooh, back it up, baby. Back it up. There we go. So, let's rock and roll. We should be able to get all of these fields done without having to come through and unload. Uh, these combines will hold a million liters each, and I doubt that we're going to be getting a million liters on each field. So, let's finish this one up. We're going to hire that worker as soon as we get over here to the end, and then we're going to jump on the field that's right in front of us. Back on one of our largest fields. Again, double check. Make sure that straw swath is on. It is. Drop it down. And I mention this every time, but I highly recommend that you guys join this field, field uh, 33 and field 28. It makes for a really nice size field. I think that these should be joined completely from the start of anyway, 
but I really like having these together. Plus, you get just one big field out front to deal with, and that's pretty darn cool. Now, the way that I do this, and a lot of you guys have seen the way I harvest this one or the way that I work this one, what I do is I run two headlands, but I also run a third, kind of just like chicken, right there. I know you can always come down here and get it done, but I just think it's a little bit easier to do it this way. Um, of course, if you're on PC and you want to use the F11 key to kind of do some fun stuff, you can easily do that. But since we're doing straw, everything's going to have to be done nice and neat and organized. Oop. And I've totally messed that all up. There we go. Now, time to rock and roll. Let's finish these headlands up. We'll hire this worker. Then we're going to jump on field 42. Yeah, field 42. This may be the last harvest that we do on 42 before we sell it. All done with my headlands. We've got three down on this end. And then we've got two around the entire way. Cool. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Looks like our T6 is still moving away. It's probably going to be the end of the episode before we even get done with that. All right. Now we are looking for... See, this guy's looking good. Did you miss him? You missed a little bit. It's all right. I'll be nice for now. And finally, one last field. Again, this may be the last time we ever do this field right here. Should probably check to see. Straw sloth is enabled. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, I hit a, I hit a, I hit a post. Goodness gracious. There we go. All right, finally we're moving now. So again, I'm going to run two headlands. The reason that I run two headlands not only is to give the worker plenty of room whenever they first get hired, um, but also I come through whenever we're collecting straw. I come through with that big, uh, the, the shooter maker crazy thing that I've got that picks up everything. Well, that'll pick up at like 18 meters, something like that. So this is more than enough here. The thing is, I don't want to waste any time. Plus, I want to make sure that I collect everything in the way that it was put down. Because OCD still takes over even when you're cheating. Yeah, big time right there. Another thing that I want to do, I want to dig out a hole in the woods. And by that, what I mean is we've got a large area of wooded, uh, large area, wooded area. This was something I was going to do last week and just never got around to it. But that's something that maybe either I want to start today or at least buy the equipment to do it. I'm debating whether or not to do wood chips with that or not. Or maybe we don't do wood chips and we just go through and start just, just T-Rexing all of the trees. I'll give you a little idea of where I'm thinking right now. So this is what I'm thinking. We've got a huge area here. Why don't we go through and cut out an area all the way in here so we still have our tree line but we end up with this massive field plus we already own all that we can do that over here too it's really cool uh the way the woods are working on here is around the outside you've got a lot of trees and kind of trees stuck under the map so it looks like bushes that kind of thing but once you get in there it's just tall trees that's it i don't know it's a good idea i think thinking I'm thinking, so we're not even done with the headlands on this field yet, and it looks like, yep, that's not the right one. This guy is already done. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, let's see, let's bump around real quick. Why did I go that way? Is this the right one? This is the right one. What I'm going to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and hire said worker here to go up and down and up and down again. And then we are going to take the other one over to the other side. We get it? Yeah, we got it. All right. Don't mess things up. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, let's jump in here. Now, instead of doing long ways right here, we're going to go up and down and up and down. I've tried doing this field a couple different ways, but as you can see, everything on both the other fields are going that way to this way. So, we're going to do the exact same thing with this field. At least until we get right here. Actually, I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. This was a bad idea. Go around. <laughs> I didn't think about it. No, I always say go find the longest, uh, the longest side. Well, this is the longest side. Oh boy, um, yeah, we should definitely not let this guy do that. Let's just go ahead and fire you, jump here, 
Go ahead and set worker. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. There we go. Cleaned everything off on that end. That worker is going to hit that little patch right there and be done. And now we could start this side like normal. Did we get five? Darn it. We got five. Whatever. Well, we could. So from here, it looks like it's going to be pretty simple to get everything done. Um, I don't even know if our tether. How far is our tether? All right. Our tether is a little bit past halfway. I don't even know how much of the video we've got recorded yet. Let's put this right here. Hire worker. Helper D has completed their task. Well, that is good with me. As a matter of fact, since we're here, let's take a look real fast. All right, this is looking pretty good. Right here. That worker's doing well. That worker's doing well as well. And we need to go right here. Anybody else get motion sick right through there? Cool. So here, now we've got to get all this straightened out. And we can do this a couple different ways. I'm not sure which way I'm going to do it, though. We'll find out, actually. You know what? Let's just go down here to the bottom, and we'll hit this run up. Then, we should be done with the oat harvest, and then we might be close to the tetting grip. The hay? Oh, we'll find out. There we go. We're all done with harvest over here, and this... Oh, no, he's coming for me. Run, 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 Tim, get away. <laughs> what are you trying to come by, man? It's all gone. You go for it, but there ain't nothing over there. <laughs> yeah. Helper A just stopped working unexpectedly. Unknown reason! No, I know the reasons, because there's nothing over there anymore, dummy. Good job. All right. How much more do we have to go down here? Or is the worker done? As a matter of fact, ah, we still got a little bit more, so you know what? We're going to give them a hand. We're going to take number three right here with the big old Goodyear tires on it. Hey, let's see if we can hit this little jump right here. Come on, jump gods. Yeah, hey, we got a little bit of air. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see, looks like we missed a couple little spots here and there. I do want to get these little sprigs. They're not going to give us much. I mean, what, one, two liters per sprig, something like that. But that eh, just doesn't look too good sitting there. So we're going to get them all. There we go. Got them, get them, got them good. Man, oh, man. All right, now... It's time to hit this, and I believe this in the area down around the other side is almost in line with each other. So what I'm going to do is just go at it like a straight line and see if we can hit it. Just like that. Perfect. So our normal combine is going to have one, one run, two. Going to have two runs to go through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try and hit a few little spots right here and there. We're going to get all this. We've got our oats. We are done with oat harvest. I'm sure you guys are super happy about that. Oats and grass, man. Oats and grass. Those are my two favorite things. We've done them both. I love it. Oh, boy. Okay. What's next? We've got to sell. Or at least get the oats prepped for selling. So let's get... Let's see. That combine is coming back. It's going to have one more run. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these combines down here around. Uh, we are going to get them unloaded one by one. We're going to see what our total number that we end up with is. And we're going to see, do we have a good price to sell? And we got to pick everything up. Straw and hay. And step number three today is going to be to pick everything up. We've got to pick up the straw and we're going to have to pick up the hay as well. Now the hay is not being done yet. And because this holds so much... If I go and accidentally pick up a piece of grass instead of a piece of hay, it's going to transform everything in here to hay, or to grass, rather. So I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up all the straw first, and then we're going to go through and we're going to get the hay. That's going to be the game plan. And as always, we're going to do the exact same thing here that we did whenever we com or harvested we're going to pick up our headland first because we've got two headlands. And then we're just going to rock through and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Fortunately for us, this loading wagon will go super fast. And we have a really powerful tractor at the helm. So this, eh, though, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to take too long. Here is our final take. We are <laughs> we're coming up on 1.75 million liters of straw. What was our final take? 1.74. Holy cow. 
Man, 1,742,865. Let's go ahead and get that run over. One thing that I'm thinking about doing, and also I'm really not sure why the screen's freaking out right now. I'm thinking about joining these fields. I mentioned that I was like, eh, maybe we're not going to do anything. I don't know how much extra we would get, and I'm not sure if it would be beneficial or not. But if we're going to get rid of it, we may as well make it bigger. And the larger the field is, the much easier it is to deal with with a worker. Um... So yeah, there's there's some ideas. Also, I got a notification saying that our our uh, hay is done, so that's gonna be good. We're gonna go pick all that up. Now, we don't need straw in here yet, so we're not gonna do anything there. What I am gonna do, let's poke in and let's just take a look at our animals real quick and see what our straw is looking like. So it looks like our cows need straw bad. Oh yeah, um, I <laughs> I'm using a. a the, the vent. It's, you know what? Don't worry about it. I, I wanted to have it. <laughs> it made everything so much faster. Oh, so much quicker. Plus, it's kind of free to rent. So I, had to, I took advantage of it. <laughs> I wonder how many of you guys, if y'all were asking about that, be like, DJ, that is definitely not what you had when you started. Let me know down in the comment section below. Oh, I can't stop either. It's real, real difficult to stop. All right, let's get this dumped out as much as they will take. And it looks like that is it right there, 242,000. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they took quite a bit there, didn't they? We're gonna put this in our silo, and then we're gonna put somewhere around 500,000 liters, um, cause this is only gonna hold about 600,000. Which, to be fair, when is the last time that we did anything where we needed straw? Oh, are we full of straw? Don't tell me we still have no! 600,000 liters, are you kidding me? So, is all this going in here? It seems like a lot. Especially since this doesn't use too much. It, it seems like a whole lot to put in here. Eh, well, let's, let's fill it up to where at least there's 500,000 liters. Oh gosh, this thing won't stop, I gotta get rid of it. There we go. Get rid of that and get this back. Much, much easier to control. All right. We'll fill this up till it gets up to 500,000. There it is. All right. So we got 500,000 liters in there, which leaves us with 1.2 million liters of straw in here. Let's take a look at sales and let's see where are we getting the best price for straw at. So let's see. Bell sales, 68. Edge Grain, 66, and Lone, Ar Lone Oak Farm Barn, 57. Okay, here is my idea. Because we've got a really good price here at the Edge Grain Vault, what I'm gonna do is we are going to create, uh, well, we're gonna make some bells. We're gonna do our old thing where we just dump all this straw out and then run through it and get bells and then pick all those bells up. So let's set our cruise. Let's set our dump. <laughs> is this ridiculous or what? And then I'm literally just gonna drive around this field. Are we down to a million yet? Hey, we're down to a million. This is this is one of the craziest things. I didn't realize we had so much straw. I thought we needed more. Oh, that was such a bad idea. Why did we need straw in the first place? I'm sitting there trying to think in my head. Why did I make so much straw? Am I just that dumb? I might just be that dumb. Yeah, I'm not going to question it anymore. <laughs> what are we down to? 300,000 liters now? This is so much straw. You may need any straw. You can add this to your game if you want to take it from me. Goodness! There is all the straw right there. Another idea I've got is to one day do uh, 100 million liters. So this will hold 100 million liters. What I could do is I can just use a cheat and fill this thing up to the top immediately and then come through and see how many bills we can make with it. Sounds kind of ridiculous. I like the idea. But between now and then, that is going to be it for today. We are going to go ahead and get all of this hay up. 
so that we can do, well, whatever we need to with this. This is very likely going to be millions and millions of liters, and I'm real excited about that. But nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video today. Get subscribed to the channel if you guys are new around here. Make sure you turn those notification bells on. I say it every time, but I mean it. I don't want you guys to miss a video. Let me know what you guys are digging about this series, and let me know if you guys are excited about Seasons. Hey, maybe by the time you guys see this, it might be close to being released. I hope so. Making this a few, few days ahead of time. Nonetheless, I hope you have an awesome, wonderful, great day, and we will see you later. Peace!